have to learn how to be by yourself. And sometimes God will leave you by yourself until you learn how to be by yourself. Because see, if, if you ain't ready to be by yourself, then people will really make a fool out of you. Because if you don't know how to be alone, people will be able to run any kind of game on you they want. Welcome back. Boom shakalaka. What you doing? Oh, I was talking to the universe. Oh, child, the universe. Wow. Okay. Oh, and then I was going to partake of the fruit of the Ignatius tree. The, ig the who tree? The Ignatius tree. The Ignatius? Ignatius. Oh, wow. Okay. What that do? It brings me calm and balance. Another kind of tree do that for me. <laughs> How long you been on this uh, spiritual journey? Oh, about two months. You been on the journey two months? Yes, ma'am. Oh, wow. That's good. How, what, what got you on this spiritual journey? What do you mean? I mean, something had to get you on it. I mean, you ain't just start on it all along, you know. Because daddy told me you used to go to church. Yeah. And then you left. Yeah. And went on a journey yes, into the universe. Mm hmm Going where no man has gone before. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess so, yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Wow. What happened make you do that? You know, usually when a woman go through a breakup, she'll cut all her hair off, change it. You know, you know how y'all do, yeah. I mean, okay. you know how we do. We all change. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know how we do, we change up something, you know. Uh, I, I think it was just time. Thought it was time? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Ain't nothing happened. Ain't have nothing to do with that man you was messing around with, the married man. The one Hannah was talking about who, who left his wife and then didn't come marry um, you when married another woman. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah, because there was a third spoke in the wheel and you ain't know about it. Was he in the church? Yes, ma'am. He was a member. A member of the church. See, there you go. Now, now it all makes sense. Man, break your heart, you get mad at God. Honey, you can't compare God to man. Any man, any woman, any human being on this earth is capable of breaking your heart no matter how much they love you. Because we're all human. We all make mistakes. Do you understand? So you can't blame God on that. You can't go running out of the church because a man hurts you. If you do that, you'll never find peace. Do you hear me? You got to know God for God and man for man. He's not a man that he should lie. Do you understand? I, I mean, I, I hear you, but I, I couldn't go back into that church. Why? I mean, I, I know I was wrong. I take responsibility for that. But those people in that church judged me. I couldn't go yeah, back in there. Yeah, that bothered me about a lot of churches, honey. A lot of folks in a lot of folk in church, they quick to forget, so quick to forget where they come from. Like they always had it together. They did re they, like they can't remember four or five years ago when they were struggling trying to get through something. That's what bothered me. People come into church and they hurting and they broken. Then they leave there even more hurt because they came to the church looking for help. And somebody up in there that made them so upset and worse than what they were. But this is what you need to understand about the church. Honey. The church is just like a hospital. When people go to the hospital, see, this is why people have their misconceptions. This is why you mess up because you think church is supposed to be this perfect place. It's not. The mm -hmm. church is a place for people who need something. Like the hospital. If you have a cold, you go to the hospital. You need surgery, you go to the hospital. There are departments for everything. If you're in an emergency, you go to the emergency room. If you're in intensive care, you go to ICU. All of that is in the hospital. The church is the same way. When you go to the church, you go up in there looking for healing. Whatever you need, whatever is surgeries you need in your life, you're asking God to help you with. You understand? So when you go up in there, just like when you go to the hospital, you're looking to see the doctor. Don't go up in there looking for nobody but a doctor. When you, hear me? you hear me? So when you go to, you ain't, you ain't hearing, you ain't understanding what I'm saying. When you go to the hospital, you go in there looking for a doctor. So all I'm telling you is that when you go to church, you better go up in there looking for God. Because mm -hmm. anything else is up in there. Do you understand? <laughs> Let me make it a little clearer for you. Just like people go to the ICU in the emergency room, there are all these little clicks and little things in the hospital. There are all them little clicks in the church. That's why the liars can find the liars. The whoremongers can find the whoremongers. It's already up in there. Do you understand? Yes, I do. That's, that's why when you go up in there, you better have your eyes on God and nothing else. Do you understand? I do understand. So are you going to get yourself hurt, honey? Keep your eye on God and you won't make no mistakes. Just like Peter when he was walking on that water and Jonah and that whale passed right by him and messed him up and he started sinking. You got to understand that, honey. Okay. I'm telling you, it was free will. I saw it.
Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's been two months since I've been to church, but I don't know if it was that. Oh, okay. Well, honey, you don't read your Bible. Oh, okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I, all I'm telling you, honey, is keep your eye on God. That's all I want you to understand. I understand that. It's just I'm so tired of getting hurt. I mean, I thought he was the one. I was praying he was the one. You was praying that the married man was the one for you? You really have been eating the fruit of the ignorant ass tree right there. Honey. Okay, I never heard it out loud like yeah, that. Yeah, that's before. what's wrong with a lot of people. They don't say stuff out loud so they can hear. You You're need right. to hear stuff said out loud, honey. You're you right. can't pray that a married man. God does things in decency and in order. God don't hook you up with somebody that's already hooked up. And let me tell you, you got to be careful with them people, honey, that you meet that it's already married. Or, and I don't care if it's a woman, a man, whatever. If you meet somebody that's in a relationship, married all together, you got to be careful with them because they are thieves and they don't even know it. Thieves? They are thieves. They, they, they have come to steal the best thing that God has given you, your youth. Because hmm. see, they are, you, you, you be hooked up in a relationship with them for 15, 20 years and realize you missed the best days of your life. Because hmm. see, when you're in your 20s, you think that's cute. Oh, yeah, he married, but it's, it's all right. He on my, I got my list. And he got everything I need on my list. He's tall, he's handsome, he make this much money. We're going to get us a nice house in the suburb. We finna live in Buckhead. Now for we we going to go over here. You know, you have your list, your five-page list. Hmm. When you're in your 20s. You get in your 30s, you start playing scratch-off with that list. <laughs> By the time you get to them 40s and 50s, that five-page list has become five words. Just to let him be breathing. <laughs> That's five. Do you understand? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, Do you hear what I'm telling you? <laughs> you got to understand that, honey. You can't let people... Like, like ain't nothing sadder to me than to see a 50-year-old woman in the club. Down at the end of the bar with the same dress on that the 20-year-old got on at the other end of the bar. Talk about, I still got it. No, you don't. Time to go home, honey. Go home. <laughs> but look, I don't judge her. Because some, somebody stole something from her, and she's trying to get it back. Somebody stole the best years of her life, and she's still trying to hold on to it. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. That's why you can't let people steal stuff from you, honey. Them people are thieves. You, you got to do better than that in your own life. You hear me? I hear you. I just, you know, I'm here and I see these people and it makes me nervous. I'm oh, yeah, scared. I'm going to be just like them. I know it because you look at your life sometime and you look like you got more years behind you than you have in front of you. And it's a scary time. And a lot, of, a lot of folks go through it. More women go through it than men where they get to the point where they realize they don't have everything they have. They don't have the love that they wanted. They don't, they're not married yet. They have, but they got money, got the house, got the career, got all that stuff, but they don't have the love. And that's a scary place to find yourself, especially when you're looking at getting older. But you have to understand something. Sometimes being alone does not necessarily mean being lonely. You know what I mean? And you have to learn how to be by yourself. And sometimes God will leave you by yourself until you learn how to be by yourself. Because, see, if, if you ain't ready to be by yourself, then people will really make a fool out of you. Because if you don't know how to be alone, people will be able to run any kind of game on you they want. Because they can threaten you by walking out the door. Right, right. If you don't do this, I'm going to leave. If you don't deal with this, I'm going to leave. You understand? understand. And, and there are a lot of people that say, a lot of women say, like, okay, well, please don't leave. Because the hell with that. You better not tell me you leave because I would have packed before you get I'm leaked out of your mouth. Huh. Wow. There'll be a cab outside waiting on you. Do you hear me? I got the gift of goodbye, honey. I will pack you the hell up so quick you want your head to spin. Mm. Do you hear what I'm telling you? I hear what you're saying. That's what I'm saying to you. You got to understand it because it, you, you can't all these lists and all this stuff about being lonely. Got to have this guy. Like my aunt, I'm going to tell you, this is a true story. My aunt was in love with this man. Love with the man. He was perfect on her list. Everything. But he wasn't no good for her. But there was another man she never paid any attention to. Because he wasn't on the list. Everything about the list was wrong with him. The list say tall, he was short. The list say handsome, he was... The list say thick, he was fat. And she didn't pay no attention to him, but the man loved her with the purest love. She, did, she didn't even know how much he loved her. If he would just do things for her. She had four boys she was raising by herself, going to work every day and night. 
and he he was a uh, watcher when it was raining he'd go pick up because she didn't have a car he went and bought a car a little rag of the car left it at the house one day she was so happy to have that car mm-hmm. she thought it got the best gas mileage in the world she didn't know he would come in the middle of the night and just fill it up for her oh, little God. things like that she'd work all day he'd rub her feet this man loved her purely the man that she was in love with kept breaking her heart. One night she got tired of saying, I ain't finna deal with that no more. And her and that man spent some time, had a beautiful night. She fell in love with him. Aww. Seven years he chased her. He died the next year. Oh. Wasted all of that time. Do you understand how people come to steal things from me? Wasted all that time being hooked up with some fool and missed the best man of her life. To this day, she'll tell you that was the best man of my life. Do you oh, understand? Wow. Yes, yes, I, that's sad. Yeah, but it's all right, honey. That's why you got to wait on God. See, see, you got to give up them lists and all of that stuff. You know, I know they didn't think like a man to say make your list, but I don't believe you ought to have a list. You understand? So you got to get to a point where you just say, you know what? Let me explain something to you. Whatever you got for me, God, I'm going to take it. Because sometimes mm-hmm. love don't come the way you want it to come. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Sometimes love have a hole in the top of the afro. Sometimes love don't have a six pack, it have a dunlap. Uh, a dunlap? Yeah, the belly dunlapped over the belt. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You got to get it the way it comes, you understand? I hear you. I hear let me talk to you about this universe thing, because I just started hearing about this universe stuff about 20 years ago. Before that, I ain't never heard nothing about this universe. This thing is scaring me, because people take the Bible, and they mix it up with a little this and a little that, and then they mix up this and mix up that. Before you know it, you all confused. They got Christians walking around talking about the universe all mixed up with all this stuff. Don't even know that they're on a whole nother path. Don't even know that you are off base with what the Bible says because you over there talking about the universe and all this other stuff. Because I don't understand. I ain't read nowhere where the universe was nailed to a cross. And I don't know why you would sit around worshiping the universe when you can worship the creator of the universe. Do you hear me? That's all I'm saying to you. I understand. You hear me? Go back to what you know. Go back to what worked for your mama and your grandmama and great granddad and grandpa. That was Jesus. They was up all night calling on the name of Jesus, walking the floor, praying for you, laying hands on you in the middle of the night. When you got sick, they was calling on Jesus. They had the prayer meetings in the house. There ain't nothing wrong with that name. It still works. He ain't gotten away from us. We getting away from him. Do you hear what I'm telling you? So you got to you got to get rid of that, honey. You got to go back to church. You got to go back to what you know. You got to go back to your roots. Go back to church. I ain't going, but you go right on up in there and have this sex with time. Oh, now, wait a minute. Now, you just said all of that about me going to church, and you won't go? No, not until they get a smoking section in the bar up in there. I'm not going. In the church? Yes, y'all having communion. I'm having Patron. What's up? Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, I don't think I'm going. <laughs> you hear what I'm telling you? I, I do hear what you're saying, Take and I, you've given me a lot to think about, and I'm gonna pray about it. You're gonna pray about it to who? To Jesus. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. That's all for the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button and share. Also, leave a comment if you have a topic you want us to cover. Until next time, take care.